Hey YouTube, this is um, Sleep Sister Angelique coming back at you again. I'm not going to stay on long because this is like my third time trying to do this. I don't know if something is going on with the YouTube where, you know, it's cutting off and telling us to retry again. So I'm just going to kind of make it short and sweet. I'm a little frustrated because um, as I told you in my last um, video, I'm going to be starting a series called Where I Am. Well, this is Where I Am Part 2. And what is happening is, is that um, I received a whole bunch of emails today um, just going through, you know, just happened to be going through my email account. And I've seen all these emails from my doctor and my nurse practitioner. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? Because I know I've already, you know, spoke with them prior last week. And I also talked to my doctor and I talked to my gynecologist. So let me just give you a revamp. Several years ago, I was diagnosed with um, endometriosis. Um, with that saying, I fell into the um, category called the anemia. So I have an iron deficiency anemia. And what is happening is, is I've been very tired and weak and very cold. And then um, I lose a lot of blood um, when it comes to my menstrual cycle. So the doctors had put me on iron. I thought it was okay. I didn't pay no mind to it, no how serious it would be. Until now, the doctors are saying that they won't do the surgery on me until we get my blood levels to a normal level. So um, the bottom line is is that <clears throat> um, they also um, they came back to me. Um, looking at all of the information, I went and I picked up all my vitamins. I picked up all the prescriptions that they asked me to do. The OBGYN has put me on birth control pills to keep me from having a menstrual cycle for 12 weeks. Um, the nurse practitioner has put me on vitamin D, 50,000 units um, once a week for 12 weeks. And then the um, my doctor told me to just get all the vitamins that I, I needed and stuff like that. So... I get this email about maybe four or five emails, um, and I look at the emails today, and this is a stumbling block because now they have put me on all this regimen, this medication regimen, and they told me that I have to check my blood uh, levels in 12 weeks. So that means that my surgery date will be postponed for the next 12 weeks. So I'm mad. You know, I'm mad as hell, but. I'm not going to get so frustrated that I go in the kitchen and start eating up everything in their mama because that's what I feel like doing right now, just saying forget it and go eat up everything. But I'm not going to do that because, see, this is what the thing is. I believe that God is truly um, working with me and making sure that my body is okay for that surgery. He doesn't want me to go into that surgery and have complications. Because I've been pleading the blood of Jesus over my body and all of my flea sisters. So I truly believe that there's a reason for everything. And the reason why I couldn't have that surgery is because of the fact that um, they want to make sure that everything is under control. But it's not all about them. It's about God and making sure that his child is safe when she gets ready to have that surgery. So I know that we have a couple of people that we've lost to the, um, to the weight loss surgery. Um, as far as they decided they changed their mind and decided not to do the surgery only because of a couple of mistakes that were possibly made. But again, I don't always think of it as a mistake. I just think of it as God was making sure that he was protecting his child. And, um, and it's a possibility that maybe he will give her a sign to go ahead and, and do the surgery. So we're just praying for all of our sisters all of our sleeve sisters, um, and I'm truly praying for each and every one of them that every surgery that we have that's up under our voices right now, in the name of Jesus, that they are covered. And I truly believe that um, if we continue to walk by faith and not by sight, God will continue to answer us. And I trust and believe in that in all thy ways. So I just wanted to share this here quick video with you before it shuts off again. Uh, maybe it's telling me you're talking too much. Gotcha. Anyway, everyone, um, again, this is Lee Sister Angelique. I want to just put a shout-out to my team. 
You know, you guys are wonderful. Look for the Speedy Cat Journey. She's here on YouTube. Look for Sure About Me. She's on YouTube. We got a couple of other girls that are on YouTube that works with the Sleeve Sisters team. And I'm really just, I'm just really um, proud to say that I belong to a wonderful, wonderful group called Sleeve Sisters. Come find us on Facebook. We do have a page. However, our support group is private. It's secret. So you won't be able to find it. You just have to go to our Facebook page, like the page, and then our administrator will send you a link or will send you a um, will send you a link or send you a friend request and then we'll just automatically invite you into the support group. Again, we have a wonderful, awesome, awesome um, support group. We got great topics from you anywhere from um, knowing yourself to um, your, your weight to um, sex, knowing what to do. Um, Everything is we just open prayer. Everything is just awesome with this here. We work with the mind, the body, and the soul. So um, it's just it's a wonderful um, and our spirit. So it really is just really wonderful. It's uplifting team, and I love you. Again, I'll see you guys um, in a couple of days or so with another video of where I am, part three. Back at you. Much love. Peace.